let's talk about some of the benefits of chlorophyll, okay? Chlorophyll is that green thing in plants. It's actually a pigment, and plants use it with the sun's help to make energy, okay? So we're going from a light energy ray to a chemical storage of energy. Now, number one, it has the ability to counter the negative effects of consuming meat. Sometimes when you overcook meat, it gives off a byproduct that could create some negative health effects. But when you combine chlorophyll, that will help to reduce those effects. This is why you want to combine vegetables with meat or a salad with your meats. Number two, it can act as a natural deodorizer. If you have body odor, you have bad breath, you need to be consuming things with higher amounts of chlorophyll. Number three, it can act as a blood builder. The chemistry of chlorophyll is literally identical to your own blood, except for your blood has iron, whereas chlorophyll has magnesium, which I'm going to get to in a second. So if someone has anemia, they want to be consuming more chlorophyll-type foods. Number four, skin. Okay, So there's a lot of cool things that chlorophyll can do for your skin. Decrease photoaging, the uh, aging spots from the sun. It can also decrease acne and oily skin. Number five, it has anti-inflammatory properties as well as anti-cancer properties. Number six, ulcers. If someone has an ulcer, chlorophyll is a good antidote because it has healing properties, especially for the internal skin of your body, whether it's um, part of the sinuses, the lungs, the esophagus, or the inside of your intestine, chlorophyll is very good to reduce inflammation and help with ulcers. Chlorophyll can also decrease your appetite. And at the heart of chlorophyll, you have this mineral magnesium, which I already mentioned, which is involved in 300 different enzymes. It's involved in making ATP, which is the energy currency system of the body. And also it's involved in decreasing oxidation to help with uh, oxidative stress. And so just make sure you have enough green stuff in your diet. Now, I'm not talking about pistachio ice cream or lime green jello. I'm talking about vegetables or wheatgrass juice powder.